I do think that, um, that people can learn through the process of going through the True North groups to be open and honest in the same way that maybe people who are familiar with the 12-step groups find much more natural because when you come to some of those other 12-step groups like me when I came as a recovering alcoholic, um, you're really down and you're really in a, a place where you need to reach out for help or you're not going to make it. And some of the people who find themselves in these True North groups might be in a place where they're in a leadership crisis and they need to reach out, so it might be easier for them. When I was in your True North group at Harvard, we had people who were coming from the most diverse experiences you could imagine, both in terms of age and demographics and work experience. And some of the people hadn't had a super profound um, crucible experience like some of the other group members. But as a result of us opening up and being able to share um, these profound things that radically changed our lives in a powerful, meaningful way, they were able to identify in their own way and have it connect with their heart and be able to open up and start to explore areas that they probably wouldn't have on their own. And I think, you know, that's, that's the purpose of these groups. We always say in kind of my 12-step group, if it comes from the heart, it goes to the heart. And um, there is a transformation that happens in these groups. And I have seen people who have no basis to be in any of those other 12-step groups really have a profound experience as a result of, of these groups and the curriculum.